Sephriot. A desolate sanctuary without a transcendent. Oh! A gardener dedicated to the sanctuary's care. Mortal souls in search of divinity. Unquenchable flames will be will rise between them. Ooh! This, okay. So now we're dealing with tran a transcendent. Um, for those of you who are unaware, a transcendent in Maple World is kind of like a representative uh, picked by one of the three aspects of reality in Maple World, which is um, light, life, and time. For the Maple World, um, the goddess of time, Reen, is the transcendent of time. However, that title has been passed on from Reen, or from, yeah, from the goddess Reen to her children? Question mark? Really a child, but children in the class zero. Their names Alpha and Beta, um, where one child was split into two to try and keep the power under control, I guess. Um, the transcendent of life, her name is Alice. She is also known as just basically as the world tree. However, she is, she, the person, is technically dead because... In order to save the world tree of Maple World, she had to basically give up her existence so that way she could revitalize the Maple Tree, the world Maple Tree, and keep Maple World alive. And then finally, we have the Transcendent of Light, the Black Mage himself. And uh, if you want to check out how that story went, be sure and check out on my YouTube channel. And um, <clears throat> for those of you here on Twitch, check out my YouTube channel where I have the entire Arcane, uh, Arcane River story, which leads from Maple World all the way through and gives you the whole, whole tale of what the Black Mage had planned for Maple World. And for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, uh, right up uh, there somewhere should be a link to the playlist of the Arcane River. So be sure and check it out. Oh dear. We're starting off this we're starting this one off with a banger. When I awoke, I saw nothing but devastation all around me. The sanctum, the only home I'd ever known, was burned to cinders. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, hello. I struggled to crawl up the ash-strewn path to the altar. The empty altar. The transcendent of life was absent. Still absent. But praying there was all I could do. Oh, wait! A prayer to my only God. I offer you my life. Please, restore the sanctum to its former glory. Oh, I wonder if this is the backstory to Alice, how she became the, um, just off the top of my head, I wonder if this is the backstory for Alice and how she became the transcendent of life. Oh, dear. With those words, my last breath left my body. I should be dead. Oh. Are you? Ooh. Episode 7 Sephiroth's Gardener. A few days ago. <laughs> this is Sephiroth, a sanctum dedicated to the transcendent of life. It was once a vibrant place, full of beautiful plants. But, well, those were better days. We still do, we still... We do still get some visitors, though. 
Some come here chasing a glimmer of hope for the transcendent of life to grant their wishes. Even though the transcendent of life, transcendent is no longer here. Answer me, woman. Why is the altar locked up? All you said... You all said I could meet the transcendent of life at the altar. The records say so, not I. But they come from long ago. The transcendent hasn't manifested here since... Who knows when? Isn't this the sanctum of life? So where is the transcendent of life, if not here? I wish I knew. You're a monk here! How did you lose your own god? I'm not a monk. I am merely the Sanctum Gardener. Uh. Oh! Dude! I didn't come here to see a damn gardener. Where are the monks? Where are they? Do you know how long it took me to get here? My daughter is dying. What happens if she runs out of time? Are you going to take responsibility for that? I never told you the Transcendent was here. And being cross with me isn't going to save your daughter. Please, this is this place is sacred. Go back to your daughter. Let her see you while she can. What did you say? How dare you? <gasps> Don't touch the flowers! Oh, wait, no. She's got a dark look on her face. Don't touch the flowers. Oh, so we got like a poison ivy thing going on here. <laughs> what? These ugly little weeds? No, don't. Don't hurt them. Oh, now you care? For flowers? Are you out of your mind? These aren't any ordinary flowers. Their, fla their flowers have to bloom for the transcendent of life to return. That's what the monks told me. Could you repeat that? Oh. Oh. The transcendent of life will return? Do you mean to say that the transcendent is not here now? Are those flora? Oh, that's bad. That is so bad. Okay, so this must be in Grandis somewhere. Not in Maple World. That being said, so we do know in Grandis that the transcendent of, I believe it's life, was Tana. And I believe the transcendent of light is supposed to be Jaren Darmor who in the current storyline is like the bad guy of Grandis. He's like the black mage of Grandis. But we have yet to see... No, that can't be right. No, excuse me. The Transcendent of Life is... Jaren Darmor. The Transcendent of Light is Tana. I'm, or her name is also Aona, but that gets confusing. So we're just going to call her Tana for now. The only one we haven't seen is Krona, uh, Krona, who I doubt this is going to be that. So this is probably just something else entirely, now that I think about it. I think they are. I saw the pointy ears sticking out of those expensive-looking cloaks. We better back off. We don't want to get mixed up in their business. Yeah, because um, if I remember right, the flora themselves, they were... A pretty nasty bunch, way back in the day. But my daughter... The transcendent of life isn't here anyway. We'll find an alternative, somewhere. Damn, I guess we'll have to. Flora, to be so high and mighty that others turn tail at the sight of you. I'm not sure how much you overheard, but... The Transcendent is not here in Sephiroth. Sephiroth. You're welcome to see for yourself. 
The altar's just west of here. Altar? As in the Transcendence Altar? Yes, but even its door is closed now. Let's go check it out. We might as well. Oh, wow, we got four viewers in the chat. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're all at least mildly entertained by what you see here today. Yes, let's go. Hmm? Why is that person staying behind? And now we're down to two. Oh, well. Oh! <laughs> Right back into it. Oh, yeah, this is right here. Um, I'm just going to take a guess right now. This is Jaron Darmore himself right now. I, I kind of recognize that face, and I'm pretty sure that's him, but I could be wrong. Such beautiful flowers. Have you been here long? There's something I'd like to ask you. Please don't touch. The plants in the Sanctum are very, very fragile. And if your question has anything to do with the Transcendent, honestly, you may well know more than I do. I'm only the gardener. The gardener? Then you're just the person I wanted to see. Oh? My question was about this very garden. I saw how beautiful it was on the way in. Do you care for these flowers on your own? Yes, that is my role. Amazing work. Oh, it's nothing compared to the way it was. This entire sanctum used to be so vibrant and beautiful. A whole cloister of monks used to care for the place altogether. It's funny. Most visitors head straight for the altar. They don't even notice the garden. What's your name? My name? Well, what's in a name? Ah, ha, ha. Quoting Shakespeare, are we? I knew it! Yes, I knew Okay, so, for those of you who don't remember, I believe it's up on my YouTube ch channel. Aaron was the name that Jaron Darmore used to get into the the great library of Cernium. And he basically burnt it to the ground once he found uh, found out that we were like the adversary to a transcendent or something like that. I have to I can't remember exactly the whole details of it. But um if you want go on my for those of you on Twitch, go check out my YouTube. And for those of you watching this on YouTube, up there somewhere should be another link to the Cernium video. You can call me Aaron. And you are? People just call me the gardener. I imagine you won't be staying long. Not in a sanctum with no transcendent. Ah, but I'm not here to meet the transcendent. <clears throat> You're not? Then why did you come all this way? Oh, for many reasons. What about you? Are you waiting for the Transcendent yourself? Is that why you care for the Garden? Well, not exactly. People assume I'm a monk here, and I have lived here for a very long time, but... No, I have never met the Transcendent. Not in all these years. Well, perhaps you will today, if my companions have anything to say about it. I should check on them. I'll talk to you later. Hmm. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, that's a woman. I got it all wrong. Wow. We pushed through the barrier for this? We always knew it was a long shot, I suppose. The greatest doctors in the world haven't been able to cure his madness. Oh, okay, okay. So, I think I figured out when when this is supposed to be. Um, in all of the lore that I have found, 
Jaren Darmor is actually the prince of the High Flora. He's the son to the God King of the Flora. Somewhere along the way, the God King went mad. Oh, and another thing is that um, the Adele class used to be, I think it was like a High Knight or something like that. Some, um, Einherjar, I think it was called. They're like an elite knight that were in the, the service of the God King. But something happened to where... I, I'd have to look up the story altogether, but this is this is all tying together for the fall of the original God King and allowing Jaren Darmor to take over and basically become the Black Mage of the Grandis area. <clears throat> um, the reason that happened is because the original God King started to go mad. All right. What else can we do? The God King's a bloodthirsty maniac now. He doesn't even recognize us anymore. So I had I had that voice wrong for this character. Yule. I think we've seen her before. I'd have to check. The Transcendent is our last resort. <sighs> and so here we are, away from the Royal Palace. You're worried about the Verdant Flora? You don't actually think they'd attack, do you? As far as I've heard, they had their own problems right now. Okay, so another little backstory on there. The High Flora and the Verdant Flora are kind of like High Elves and like just common elves, I guess you could say, if like Tolkien had a thing. But, um... They split off because they had... They were all one race before, but they split off because they had differing views and beliefs. And now the High Flora are, like, basically, like, demigods, and the Verdant Flora are, like, just the commoners, and the High Flora and the Verdant Flora absolutely just hate each other. That's not the issue. Just take a look at our knights. A few words from Ad Adelaide... And how many of them defected? Okay, so yeah, there we go. Adele, <clears throat> she used to be like the, a high-ranking knight for these guys. And she ended up getting sealed away in, um, like in a really dark prison or something like that for her betrayal of basically not following the God King's orders. That's basically what happened. Not to mention the deployment delays... Now that a top knight's been locked up, it's a mess. Locked up because the God King demanded it. That caught us all off guard. I don't like it any more than you do. And then there's his plan to start a war on, ev on every single front at the same time. <sighs> He's mad. That's the long and short of it. But a knight stands by his lord. No matter what. So yeah, Adelaide, if I remember right, Adelaide began to quest... Adelaide, a.k.a. Adele, began to question the the commands or the um, leadership of the God King at the time. And for that, she was basically thrown in prison. That's why I'm holding out hope here. If His Majesty's simply sick, as we'd like to believe then curing his sickness will make everything right. If his reagent, regent can hold things together until then. So yes, here we are, where we have to be. Well, let's try the door. It won't budge. That gardener back there said it was locked. Hmm. I don't see a keyhole. There must be another way to open it. The gardener would probably know. Are you sure? They didn't seem to know much. Unless they're just not telling us. We might have to ask a little less politely. About what? Ah, welcome, my prince. This is the Transcendence Altar. 
locked, unfortunately. <clears throat> I was just about to go get go get it open. Oh. Huh? I'm sure it was locked a moment ago. Shall we? The gardener was right. There's nothing here. I don't sense anything either. It's going to be a hell of a homecoming if we go back empty-handed. So what now? We just let the God King finish going mad? <sighs> there has to be something here. Ah, here. At the corner of the altar. Pictographs? Oh, hello. What do we got? Okay, looks like we got a package of some kind. The garden. Maybe a golem of some kind here. And... Two... People of some kind, it looks like. That technically counts as something. What do you think they mean? Oh, I've seen these. It's like a kind of map or a crypt cryptogram. They usually point to valuable treasures or dangerous spells. But here... Yes, this may point to the transcendent. It, it has to. Why else would they put it, he put it on the altar? The question is, what do the pictures mean exactly? They could be references to landmarks or people around here. We'll have to look all over. Crack the code. And we'll have to do it quickly. The royal palace will need us back before too long. Edvar. Okay, that's his name. Then it seems we'll need help from someone who knows this place. Uh-oh. You mean the gardener? I see no one of higher station available, so yes, she'll do. What do you say, your highness? Hmm. Right, let's find her. Hmm. Oh. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. What is it? You are the caretaker of the Sanctum, right? I'm the gardener, yes. But why do you ask? We need your knowledge of this place. Take a look at this. It's a cryptogram slate we found at the altar. You're going to help us solve it. At the altar? You open the altar's door? How? Not relevant. What's important is the slate contains the method for summoning the Transcendent of Life. You want the Transcendent back too, don't you? I do, but this sounds too easy. Then again, the altar's door did open for them. Maybe they're special somehow. Either way, I don't think they'll take no for an answer. Yeah, you got that right, little lady. Very well, I'll help. But how exactly? Allow me to explain. Aaron? I happen to have some interest in ancient texts and crypto cryptography. I believe I can be of assistance. By all means, Aaron. Take the lead. What should we do? I suggest we split up for now. There's nothing too dangerous here. Understood. We'll see if we can find any other clues. Shall we? Those two jumped at your every word. It seems you could simply order them to solve the puzzle for you. Were I so inclined, yes. But I enjoy this kind of challenge, and I wish to learn more about this place. And about you. 
Those who can discern my status are rarely so candid with me. What gives you the courage to speak to me so frankly? Courage implies fear, and I am not afraid of you. You're a Flora. You might be a lord, but you and I are both living beings. That's all that matters to me. Of course, a powerful Flora like yourself might find that rather irksome. Not at all. I agree with you. Status and position are quite meaningless. Even a king is only flesh and blood. Hmm, okay. Hmm? Now, there are riddles to solve. Alright, let's go! I've brought a diagram of the sanctum. There are forests in all directions surrounding the garden. <clears throat> Do you know of anything in the garden that might be related to this slate? No. And I would know if there were anything there. And then there must be something outside of the sanctum. What can we expect out there? Ruins, mostly. Aside from the old barrier stones, not to mention the monsters, I don't go out there much, as you can imagine. Then stay back. I'll search alone. No, I said I don't go out there. I didn't say I couldn't. I can handle a few monsters. Splendid. Lead the way, then. Let's head to... Sephiroth Eastern Outskirts. Oh. I can't say I care for the ambiance here. Is that a barrier stone? Ooh. Yes, there are four of them all together. One in each cardinal direction. A oh, little side note here, a cardinal direction, they're talking about north, south, east, and west. Those are all cardinal directions. The monks used to tell me they protected the sanctum from prying eyes. Hmm. The statue has an indentation the size of the slate. Shall we see if it fits? Hmm, okay, so maybe it's kind of like an activation code? Okay. Ah, I can read these words. Oh, hello. Come to me with cold warmth. Cold warmth. <laughs> That's, uh, cold warmth? It's oddly phrased. Perhaps it's some sort of metaphor. Hello. The night ghosts have heard us and awakened from their slumber. Shall we seek shelter then? Okay. Are night ghosts frequent visitors here? Delightfully creepy, I must say. They weren't always monsters. They're the souls of warriors who died defending the Sanctum. Oh, okay, so I guess they continue to uh, guard the Sanctum. Ah, I see. When the monks were still here, they would hold memorial services to appease them. But now, but now that there's no one here to do that, they simply wander aimlessly. Strange, though. Normally I only see one or two at a time. Not so many at once. Perhaps the statue attracted them. Could the ghosts themselves be a hint? If so... Ah! <laughs> Listen. East of the Sanctum, there are ghosts with orange lanterns. West of the Sanctum, there are ghosts with blue lanterns. Ha. Huh. Ghosts, blue lanterns cold warmth. You're a sharp one. Let's gather some up and see what happens. Blue flames burning ice cold. Fascinating. 
The lanterns represent the ghosts' souls. They carry their strongest emotions at the moment they died. Oh, wow. Okay. The blue color is fear. Orange means rage. <clears throat> I'll be sure not to touch the orange, then. But the blue does seem quite chilly. Let's arrange it all in front of the statue and go from there. Huh? The slate is lighting up. Oh, okay. Look, the picture on the slate changed. I think if we keep filling up the slate like this, we can break the code. This must be... A, this must be a... Co this may be a coincidence, but the picture of the ghost with the blue lantern is drawn in the eastern position. It could be another clue. Nope. Okay. And the words on the statue are changing. You solved the first riddle. I shall guide you down the next path. It's pointing west. Let's go. I'll try the same thing here. Okay. Put the, put the slate in. Come to me with the augury hidden in earth warmed by sunlight. That earth rests beneath your feet. Hmm. Earth warmed by the sunlight. Okay, so that could mean back in the east, because the sun rises in the east. The ground is warmer in the south. The word beneath could be referring to the south. I think we should head there. Find the hidden augury. Okay. What do you suppose augury? means in this context. What are we meant to find here? These are charms. Memorials for people who died defending the sanctum. Honestly, I've never lied at, laid eyes on them before. It seems the damage was quite extensive. Yes, whatever happened here is the reason for the barrier stones. That explains some of this. But when, why hide everything behind all these strange riddles? That I can't say. Well, never mind. We have more clues to solve. Put down the forest augury. Okay. Okay, got absorbed. Okay, so... That's in the west. The slate lit up again. Look at the west area. So the next place we have to go is... <clears throat> oh. You who solved the second riddle, I shall guide you to the next path. It's pointing to the north. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so this is... Okay, so these enemies were on the slate, too. Do those scarecrows have anything to do with your martyrs here, by any chance? Good observation. They were guards out here on the outskirts. After the monks disappeared... They lost their purpose and turned into what they are now. What a miserable fate. Well, at least we know what to do here. I'll insert the slate into the statue. Oops. Come to me with the screams of one who has stood on empty ground. <clears throat> Any idea what that could mean? How can we carry screams someplace? 
We can't physically carry them, obviously. Ah, uh, maybe we can carry them in our minds, in our memories. We just need to hear them first. I suppose that means we need to prompt those screams, don't we? The West and North still remain. Let's go defeat those who stood on empty ground. <clears throat> okay, so we defeated them, I guess? Okay, there, there's the North thing. There's just one area remaining. We've already gone west, so now we should go south. Should we wait until the statue moves? What are you thinking? Well, you asked earlier why they should make these kinds of riddles. I think I might know why. I'm all ears. Looking into the emotions of the ghosts, taking care of the charms to appease them, putting down the guards who no longer have a purpose. Those things are about remembering the people who died for the sake of the sanctum. Maybe the transcendent is putting us through all these steps so we can thank and appreciate them. A fine purpose. You, you may be right. The transcendent of life would know better than anyone how selfish the living can be, and how quickly they would betray others to save their own worthless lives. But perhaps those who died here make, made a worthy sacrifice. Not only of their bodies, but their afterlives. To sacrifice oneself without the promise of any reward. Only a very small number of dedicated people would ever consider such a thing. Forgive me, I ramble sometimes. On a related topic, the statue doesn't seem to be moving. I don't think it's broken. I think we're supposed to go south. Let's go and see. I'll insert the slate into the statue. You already know this answer. Carry out that which you know must be done, and return to me. The only things we haven't already brought are the orange flames in the west, so I suppose that's what we need. Shall we go? Let's go bring back the orange flames. Okay, so that was obviously it. All right, so it's lit up, okay? The last picture is... picture's lit up. Is that everything? I would think this slate would show us some new now. Something new now. Ah. This is not the end. Rely on your own strength to find the last key. a fifth riddle. Look at the direction of the statue and the last picture. Maybe the solutions at the garden. Then again, there aren't many statues in the garden. Let's go there regardless. Maybe there's something we missed. Quite a lot of space you have to yourself. There must have been quite a few monks here back in the day. There were. This place used to be so beautiful, with all of us working together, and the garden was so much bigger. 
So, how did you come to be alone? It's hard to explain. One day, the monks were here, and the next, they were gone. Gone? Did they all die? No, you see, they were spirits, in a sense, born from the light of the transcendent. They didn't die, they simply disappeared. I can only imagine they left, with the, left to join the transcendent. Of course, I've never seen the Transcendent, so I could be wrong, but that's my best guess. I see. I couldn't care for this entire place alone, no matter how devoted I was. So I had to trim down the garden. It was the only way I could handle the work. Well, it looks fantastic. More beautiful than ever, I'd wager. You're very kind. Thank you. At first, I felt guilty, like I was failing to care for it. But I came to think of it as pruning. Pruning, hmm? If you want a plant to thrive, you can't just let it grow wild. You have to cut away the unnecessary parts and keep the healthiest ones. That's how you make it flourish. <coughs> if you let it grow on its own, the plant might run out of nutrients, or even die. Keep only that which has value. Interesting. Aaron? Uh, pardon me. <coughs> I happen to say something similar sometimes. Pruning is important, you're right. In all, aspect, in all aspects of life, not just gardening. On another note, it's nearly sundown. Shall we pack it in for the day? Hmm. Yule! What have you got for us, girl? Where were you? We've been looking for you. Why? What's happening? We came across a statue near the altar. There's a puzzle involved. We were hoping you could help us solve it. Huh, I know that statue. I don't think it's related to what we are doing here. Oh? I'll explain it when we get there. It says, The beings on the outskirts have turned their heads in the right direction, and the gate to the outside has opened. The path below the gate shall lead you down the mountain. That fits. This statue is a marker for a secret passage. An emergency exit, huh? I suppose it makes sense, considering the rough terrain. Well, nothing to do with the puzzle. <laughs> nothing to do with the puzzle, then. Sorry about that. Don't be. You found us an emergency exit. Safety is of the utmost importance. <laughs> Just in case we need to make a quick escape. You can never be too prepared. <clears throat> it's nearly nightfall. I propose we call it a day and let the last clue marinate until morning. I was so busy solving puzzles, I didn't have time to water all the plants. It's a bit late, but they still need water. Hmm? What's that? Who would come to the garden at this time of night? Oh, there's the big guy. That's not good. Why are they approaching the flowers? Wait. Oh, ho, 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 what's going on there? A mon- a monster. What the heck is that thing? What did it do to the flowers? No, not the garden. Uh-oh, that's not good. 
Okay, we aren't mes meant to win this one. Uh, uh, I can't move. <laughs> okay. Yes, kill me, not the flowers. Who, who are you? What? What's going on? Your Highness, Your Majesty. Why are you two? The Prince and the God King. What? Hemans the Prince and that monster is. Oh, that was the God King. Fading. That was the God King. Oh. Why he wasn't his majesty locked up in the guest house? He must have slipped out when we weren't looking. Prince, what about you? Are you alright? And who's this? It's the gardener, remember? And now she's seen him. The way he is. Oh, that's okay. Wow, that is a whole lot worse than I thought it was. What are you suggesting? Not letting anyone find out. That's what. We haven't solved the puzzle yet. We might still need her help. Fine. Lock her up in the guest house for now. Once we finish solving everything. We do what we did in the Abyssal. We do what we did in the Assembly Hall. All right, then. You know, ever since his majesty succumbed to the madness, he's been sensitive to magic. I wouldn't think there would be any magic here. Not with the transcendent gone. <coughs> so what do you suppose? So what so what do you suppose? Called him called out to him, as it were. Hmm. He's not in his right mind, so who knows? It could be anything. Hmm. It could be. Hmm. Isn't it odd that all the other flowers are glowing, except for these? Do you suppose his very presence caused them to wither? Certainly the gardener wouldn't have left them in neglect. <clears throat> Your Highness? Allow me to theorize that these flowers contain magic. You think so? Look carefully. The magic is hidden away. But it is there. I can feel it. That explains the glow, of course. There must be more to it than that. It's a problem for one thing. We have to stay here until we've cracked the code, but we're surrounded by a minefield of madness. If your father absorbs any more, he's going to get worse. <clears throat> we'll have to sequester him. We'll move him to the farthest structure from the garden, and then place an anti-magic barrier. No time to waste. Uh, what happened? The garden? Are the trees and flowers all right? Uh, I heard all over. Is this the guest house? <gasps> Why am I in a cage? It's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're stuck in a cage. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
safe. What about the garden and the flowers? There's no need to worry. A few flowers did wither, but the rest are alive and well. Oh. Whew. You are an odd one. A monster attacked you. You're in a cage. And your first question is about the flowers. That must seem strange, I know, but I promised to protect the garden with my life. Why is that? Why is... What is so important about the garden that you're willing to die for it? Oh, it's a long story, but if you've got the time... Many children without parents wander all this world alone. All across Grandis, where war never ends. I was one of them. The older I grew, the more I saw others like myself. All adrift, all suffering, without a shared hope. Without a shred of hope. One day... I happened to be wandering near the Sephiriot Sanctum. The monks found me starving to death in a gutter, and by their grace they took me in. True to their calling, they gave me a chance at life. More than that, they gave me a name and a family. Here at the Sanctum, life was humble, simple, and safe. The rules were strict, the monks were Oster, Oster, Ostri. That's a word I don't know. Oster? Hmm, I'll have to look that one up at the end of the stream. We'll find out together, chat. But I had a home, and I had hope. I knew what, what they sacrificed to take me in. They barely had enough to provide for themselves in the first place. So I wanted to do something to earn my keep, to show them they did that they hadn't made a mistake. It was plain to see how much time they spent tending the garden each day. They told me that if I stay, if it stayed beautiful, the transcendent of life would eventually come back. The well-kept garden is teeming with life. They told me, just what the transcendent stands for. So I took on the role of the sanctum's gardener. And that's how I lived, until one day all the monks simply vanished. Gone, without a trace. As if they never even existed. As you can imagine, I was in shock. The monks in the sanctum were all I had. And then, I was alone again. An orphan once more. I did the only thing I knew how to do. I cared for the garden. After that, they told me the Transcendent would come back if I did. After all, they told me that the, the Transcendent would come back if I did. Besides, caring for the flowers and trees made me feel less alone. I held out hope that if the Transcendent did come back, the monks would too. And that's why I'm here. To prepare the, the way for the transcendent. To keep the faith. To hope that I might see my family again. Everything I love. Everything I live for is here. And I will defend it no matter what. <clears throat> Even to the death. If it comes to that, yes. Listen to me carefully. Death is here for you tonight. My comrades will use you to get what they want. Then they will murder you. Why? Because of what I saw? With you and the God King? Yes, that's exactly why. We came here seeking the transcendent of life's power to cure his majesty. 
our people can never know that their god king's gone mad. Nor can the knights. Nor can the assembly. The surviving assembly, I should say. All those who learned the secret took it to their graves. Oh boy, so when, they, when they're talking about the assembly, they basically mean they all put them to a permanent night-night in the forever box. But you still need to help so you still need help to solve the last clue, right? They wouldn't I've already solved it. <gasps> or rather, I learned how to solve it. This is not the end, it said. Rely on your own strength to find the last key. And the statue was pointing to the garden. There's a reason the monks believed that maintaining the garden would bring the transcendent back. The plants are the key. Their magic can solve the last clue. You're going to use the plants? One flower, that's all. The one you're holding would do. May I have it? I want to see! I want to see! It reads, Only the beautiful... S only the beautiful sacrifice and noble will draw its attention. Oh, shoot. I didn't see what it was. So that's it. All my life, I tended the garden. I never realized. The flowers represented the self-sacrifice it took to sustain them. I was right to be here. I gave my life for a worth to a worthy cause. Are you going to kill me now? Honestly, I'd rather not. You are a singular individual. Odd, yes, but fascinating. Please, leave the sanctum at once. I'll tell my knights I killed you. Forget all you've seen here. Go, and start a new life. A new life? But... <coughs> I've just unlocked your cage and your shackles. You may hear some commotion outside. Simply seek out one. Simply sneak out once it's died down. Goodbye, and good luck to you. God King is staying put this time. Any progress on the clue? It's, it's solved. Here, take a look. Ooh, hello. What's at the bottom? <clears throat> Only the beautiful sacrifice of a noble life will draw his attention. Sacrifice? A noble? Someone here has to die? <clears throat> That's what it says. Someone of worthy blood. It makes sense. The transcendent won't, wouldn't bother with anyone short of a high flora. A knight, perhaps. Harsh, but... Well, we can't expect to exactly turn back now, can we? We can't hide his majesty's madness forever. Others have to have noticed we've gone by now. They might even know where. I'll leave it up to you two. <coughs> Which one of you will make the sacrifice for his majesty? Oh! Edfer? A noble. Someone who's had his majesty's favor since childhood. Someone who's, who rose through the ranks to become the prince's bodyguard. Oh, you're far more noble than I am, Edvar. 
Your family line has served the God King for generations. Hey now, that wasn't up to me. I wouldn't even be a knight if my family hadn't pushed me into it. And, and I am Bush the Jun... And I am Bush the Junior Knight just now. How noble am, am I, really? No transcendent wants my life. I have brothers and sisters at home. They'd all starve to death without me. I can't leave them. So you want me to leave my wife and children? What sound? More visitors. Let's table this discussion for now. Obviously, they can't see his majesty. Go see who they are, will you? Let's go, Yule. Prince's orders. Blue wings. How did the verdant flora get here? Only four of them. And they don't look armed. They don't look armed. Be ready. Why are you here? Hi, Flora Knights. You are here, just as we were told. Fear not, we come in peace. We seek an audience with the God King. How do they know we're here? Who told them? We'll figure that out later. Just Let's just play along for now. <clears throat> Verdant Flora, why do you seek his majesty? <laughs> Please, away with your sword. We have seen the folly of our ways and the greatness of yours. We would like to make amends by joining forces. You wish to convert to High Flora. You could have done that from the start and spared yourselves a war. That is our deepest regret. Please, let us return to the path of enlightenment and serve the God King once more. <laughs> I'll bet you anything they just want their power back. I knew the Verdant Flora had their problems. Here they are, running from their own kind again, trying to get back what they had. Well, whatever. This is our chance. Chance? What do you mean? Ah. Exactly. Any high floor would be noble enough to, for the sacrifice. Let me ask you one thing. Are you prepared to give your lives for his majesty? Of course. We pledge our lives to his majesty from this day forward. Then in his majesty's name, we thank you. Wait, what are you doing? You pledged your life. It's ours now. But why? You have nothing to gain from killing us here. Oh, I assure you, we have everything to gain. All of us. Where is his majesty? Please, let us see him. What are you waiting for, Yule? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is how it has to be. No. Change of plans to battle. Against the Knights of Erin, Ainhurjar? Are you out of your mind? Forget it. Run for your lives. Okay, so those are the Ainhurjar Knights. Fellow, the fellow knights that, um... Adele was a part of. Why are they trying to kill us? They were probably planning it for t two from the start. Should have known. That tip about the God King in a place like this, it had to have been a trap. We'll talk later. Let's get out of here. Is that... What is that? Where do those rats think they're going? Leave us alone! Ah! Well, 
that sound? It's his majesty. The barrier must have weakened while we were distracted. We need to contain him. Let's go. Hold on, Yule. Think about this for a minute. Are you sure we want to do that? What are you babbling about? We have to stop him. What do you suppose he's doing right now? Snacking on those verdant flora, most likely. One less thing to worry about. But then what? We can't just leave His Majesty alone. Can we really call that monster His Majesty? He doesn't recognize us anymore. Why should we recognize him? Hugh, and suppose those verdant flora weren't noble enough. What then? He'd still need a sacrifice. You or me. So what are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we go home. No one can prove we were here. We'll set the sanctum on fire, cover our tracks. The God King will finish going mad, and everyone will blame the verdant flora for all of it. If you want to stay until he kills you, fine. I'm leaving. Okay, where's she going? This is... Your Majesty, it's me. It's Yule, your protector. He's absorbed the verdant floor's magic. There's no stopping him. Can I possibly hold him back on my own? Uh, okay, what? Fire! He didn't. No one can prove we were here. We'll set the sanctum on fire to cover our tracks. The God King will finish going mad, and everyone will blame the verdant flora for all of it. Edvar, you coward! Wait. Oh, no. Oh, dear. There's magic in the plants. All the plants. Oh, great. That's not good. The fire released it. He absorbed it all. He's nothing but a monster now. What do I do? I won't die here. I can't. My family needs me. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, well, that's what he looks like. Your Majesty, please. It's me, you Stupid. He can't understand me anymore. I should have run when I had the chance. Please. I can't die here. I can't. Ah! Oh, wow. Just straight up not wiped her out. A few minutes before the fire. Your loss, Yule. But I'm getting out of here alive. With no tracks and no witnesses. Not the gardener, and not the prince. What are you doing? Please, stop. Oh! Dude! What are you doing out here? How'd you get out of the cage? Uh, uh. Well, you saved me a trip to the guest house, at least. Please, I beg you, stop. This is holy ground. The transcendent... Ah, uh, yes, the transcendent of life. Who won't be bothering... Who won't even bother showing up unless somebody dies? What the hell is that worth? This place should have burned down a long time ago. No, you can't. Is she dead? 
Eh, the fire will get her either way. Jeez. That was brutal. What the hell? Who blocked all the exits? What's going on? Wait, wasn't there a secret passage by the altar? <laughs> I guess solving the clues wasn't a complete waste of time. I'd better move. Huh? Huh? Why is there light coming from the altar? Is the Transcendent actually back? Was one of those death deaths noble enough? Oh boy. Uh... Hmm. I know I saw a light from out there. If it wasn't the Transcendent, what was it? No matter. Even the Transcendent couldn't help the God King now. Who's there? Prince, you're alive! <clears throat> you sound disappointed. Uh, of course not! I'm glad you're safe! But where were you? I've been looking all over... I was just looking for something. Huh? Looking for... what? A noble life. The noblest. The most worthy. <clears throat> Instead, I found a harsh, harsh truth. We all consider our own lives to be the most precious. No one's truly willing to die for something greater. I can't die. My family needs me. <clears throat> well, of course. We all want to live, don't we? Yes, but... Well, perhaps I expected too much. Uh-oh, eyes are glowing. Eyes are glowing! That's not good! The truth is, none of you are worthy. We're worthy? Prince, what do you mean by that? You don't mean... Your Highness, are you the Transcendent of Life? How the... When did you... When the balance of life is disrupted, a Transcendent is born. I have been such since before the war began. Well, from the moment we started it. But the God King's madness was the reason the war began. No, it can't be. I had hoped enlightenment would show me something different in the hearts of mortals. Something I hadn't seen before. But, no. <clears throat> the ever-conceited high flora. The self-proclaimed nobles of the verdant flora. Every one of them. All the same. Oh, Dude! Please, please don't kill me. You think your life has value. But I see the truth. Dude! You've shown me that truth, Edvar. May you sleep.
it's all burned down. How long have I been out? The garden. <gasps> the garden. It's all burned down. Why? How? all in ashes just like that everything I grew here everything I built it's all I had I I can't let the garden die this way only the beautiful sacrifice of a noble life will draw his attention that's what was written I'm no noble, but the transcendent of life knows every life is precious. I'll restore the garden if I pay the toll. I'm sure of it. To the altar. <clears throat> when I awoke, I saw nothing but devastation all around me. The sanctum, the only home I'd ever known, was burned to cinders. I struggled to crawl up the ash-strewn path to the altar. The empty altar. The transcendent of life was absent. Still absent. But praying there was all I could do. A prayer to my only God. transcendent of life. I don't know if you can hear me, but I pray to you now. I offer you my lowly life. Please restore the sanctum. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this clip. If you want to catch where these streams happen live, use the link in the description below to check out my Twitch channel. If you'd like to see more stream clips, check out this playlist right here. And if you'd like to have a story narrated to you, check out this playlist right here. I hope you were at least mildly entertained by what you see, and I hope to see you on the next one.